stay put till Thursday because today's Tuesday and uh, I have to I have to find parking. You know, I just got back from the store. It's like twelve thirty, and um, now I gotta sit here till one because alternate side. Then um, tomorrow, since De Blasio had nothing better to do than rip up the streets, De Blasio's our mayor. Um, now I gotta stay put here till Thursday because if I move it, I'm not gonna find parking because all this whole street, all the way down for about seven blocks maybe, seven, eight blocks, all those cars gotta find parking. And, and then it's just not that street alone. It, it's the side streets. So you figure about 10, 12 blocks of cars gotta find new places to move. And if I move my car, I'm not gonna find the parking. I'm gonna have to walk for miles. Miles and miles and miles. You know what I'm talking about? This pisses me the off. Hey, did this ever happen to you? You're walking home in the middle of the night and a guy jumps at you with a gun and he holds you up. And instead of you giving him his your wallet, he gives you his wallet. Well, it never happened to me either. Okay, see you, see you later, see you later. What's up, you guys? It is uh, Wednesday morning. I have to come out and check the car because I had to set my wife in a taxi to work because they're working on the roads and they're making a movie down here and there's no parking anywhere. So, I had to uh, send her in the cab. So this is the way it looks right now. I have my block closed because they're doing construction. Then down here, far end down here, the uh, the far end down here, down all the way down by the river, they have it closed off because they're gonna be making a movie. Who knows? They they put up things signs for uh, for ten o'clock last night, but I thought it was the whole block. When they, now obviously they changed the signs, it's only half the block. And on the, the that side, I guess you can park. You couldn't park there yesterday. But everything changes. Everybody has some kind of mission. Everybody has something. So, uh, kids going to the pool. Sitting there. This motorcycle's in trouble because people are turning. They get getting real close to the to his tire. They gotta knock his ass down. You know, you know people. They don't know what the hell's going on. Should I turn? I can't turn. I want to turn. I am not right, right. Bunch of idiots. They're a bunch of idiots. So I just came to turn on the car and check the car. I might go in there and buy a... I might go to the deli and... Uh, should I? Nah. I got shit at home to cook. What am I going to spend money on that garbage for? Anyway, the people are lost. Look at these people. They don't know what to do with themselves. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Nobody stops at the stop sign no more. Look, look this one, this guy. He's privileged that way. This is my block. It's a bunch of idiots, a bunch of selfish people. And it's all about them. Fuck everybody else. Anyway, I'm going to sit here for a little bit, play with myself, I mean, you know, mentally, and uh, I'll get back to you. Let's look at these girls go, whoop, <laughs> you saw that, look at her, look at her, <laughs> I know I caught that shit, <laughs> it was hot, wasn't it, look at her, look at her shoe, that shit's hot, 
Now you messed up your shoes. How you feel? How you feel? I bet she cleans them again. No? <laughs> I love when people go by and they step on the dirt. Because asphalt is hot right now. It's hotter than your asphalt. Whose fault asphalt? What's this girl doing? She's putting up signs. Let's check her out. Check her out putting up signs. Oh, it's set. It's set. I guess she's part of the, uh, what's it pointing? It's pointing straight ahead to the set. Make sure those lines are straight. That's it, baby. That's it. So, let's see what it says there. It says, to the set. That's where, you know, that's where they had the cattle call. The set is uh, actually, the set is actually where everybody meets and, uh, you know, the extras and all that, and they get uh, dressed or whatever they have to do, makeup or whatever, ever it calls for. But it's usually cattle call. Cattle call is uh, when you got like about 200 people all together and they put you in one room. I've been there. I've done acting before and that's what they do. They take like 50, 100 people in one room and you stand there like fucking zombies, man. You know, sweating your ass off. And you know what? Then you know what they give you? If you're not sad, you don't get a meal. You don't get a good meal. No, you get a you get a box lunch, like an apple and, and, uh, and a sandwich. It could be one slice of ham or a peanut butter sandwich with um, a juice drink, a drink. Not even juice, it's a drink, like Kool-Aid. It's a farce. And then they pay you, you know, they, they went to work 16, 20 hours, and they pay you like, you know, 50 bucks. You know, it's not even minimum wage, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything has been confirmed, and I'm on my way to a nice uh, concert. I'll keep you updated. I'm waiting for the bus. You know me. That's my style. See you later. How's it going? Yeah, I have a real good time. Yeah, it was very nice. She's very lovely and very educated. And um, yeah, it's uh, very nice uh, to be friends with her. So there you go. I am very successful. And very nice. Uh, yeah, we saw a concert in the park. And, um, then uh, I'm on my way home. I'm in McDonald's right now. <laughs> Having that nice coffee. There you go. It's real good. Okay, so listen. I'm tucking, man. I gotta go home. All right. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. All right. Two old guys. Two old guys. Two old guys. Two old guys. So it looks like. The new floor. Well, that's why people were jumping because of this strip on the floor. What the hell? That shit. Cool. Bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. I'm gonna go home. The park is empty. I don't know, man. Maybe people are on the beach or something like that. I don't know. Maybe stand on the corner over there. Maybe she's looking. Who knows? Anyway, we're home. What's going on there? <laughs> it's Joe from the Two Old Guys show. Yeah. Look, listen, smoking's no good for you, so quit immediately. Yeah, well, anyway, you know, I had to do a few things today. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off, 
but I got it. I managed to get it done. And uh, yeah, I, I got everything together. I, I'm, it's a legal issue, but uh, I, I um, uh, it looks like I'm winning my case because uh, I uh, I worked hard on it. I'm you know I'm a business major, but I took up law as an intensive uh, course in my business. Uh, Degree. Anyway, yeah, so I'm here, I'm on, uh, so I'm in Sunnyside, yeah, that's why I am, I almost forgot, <laughs> hey, but listen, check it out, alright, is this, did this ever happen to you, and, and, and I'm gonna have to question, okay, check it out, uh, you're in an open field, okay, and it's a hot, hot, uh, day, and you're, you're uh, on an excavation, you know, on an excursion, hunting for Indian artifacts. Then, in that field, you spot a bull. I mean, a huge, legitimately uh, black certified bull, okay, with, with horns. And the bull gets a uh, very, uh, how would you say, uh, uh, he, he gets uh, kind of upset because you're in his territory. <laughs> so, and he starts running after you, <laughs> chasing you. And yo, it really happened to me one time. <laughs> so I can tell you, man, it's like a real scary experience. <laughs> Lucky, lucky I, I climbed the fence quick enough to get away from it. But that really happened to me. Oh my God, you know, I, it's crazy. That happened to me a long time ago. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm never going to mess with a uh, live bull with horns. And especially if like, they weigh uh, a ton or a ton and a half, that's for real. So there you go, that's my story. You see the people in back of me? I paid them. They're my extras. <laughs> I figured. I figured I'd make this uh, portion of our show very enjoyable. Okay. Have a good one. See you later. There you go. I was gonna say good morning. Hey guys, what's up? All right. So here it is, Friday afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. I got up late. I, I was up all night doing, uh, you know, vlogging. But I'm gonna be gonna meet Joe, and we're gonna be hanging out, you know, and uh, doing some things. And um, I think we're just gonna go to Wendy's and just vlog from there. But I'm gonna give him his new camera, and you can see it there too. All right, so I arrived and uh, I picked up Joe. I didn't have the camera ready, so you didn't see him. But he's over there buying cigarettes. He's addicted. He's addicted. Don't smoke. Smoking is no good for you. <laughs> He'll be coming. Watch, watch. Just keep watching. Didn't they steal that sign? You see where it says seven? Taxi. It says seven, seven, seven. Look. They got a channel seven there. Seven on your line, on your side. They can't do that. They stole that. What the hell? They're stealing. Stealing stuff, that's savage, man. Can't be doing that shit. I'm still waiting for Joe. There he is. <laughs> There's Joe. He's hiding, man. Look, look. <laughs> there he is. Hey, hey Joe. this is the uh, two old guys high sign. Hiya, okay, Krabby. whenever you're watching us, you go like this. Hiya, Krabby. Yeah, hiya, Krabby. <laughs> there you go. Okay, we're heading to Wendy's. So anyway, how was uh, lunch? Oh, thanks a lot for the lunch. It was good. <laughs> hey, guys. You know, I, I met this girl, real nice girl, man. And, you know, uh, I saw her in a day. I said, where are you from? She said, you banged me after <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> you back. 
We're talking about uh, DVD people, people that sell DVDs. Uh, they, the bootleg. The bootleg. You know, the people on the street stuff. That's a dying business. It's over. Forget about it. Yeah, because uh, we know where the free movies are. We but see I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> We're not going to tell you. Because, because I mean, we can watch them free online if we want to. Yeah. And these people, are, they, 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 it's a mass, it's a mass, it's a mass, um, download, and, and they all have the same DVD, so, why pay for it if you can see them free? Yeah, if you want, uh, to know where the free movies are, write, write, me, write to Leon and he'll, he'll tell me where they are. <laughs> no, I <it> won't. <laughs> okay, you can yeah. write, alright, you can write to me and I won't tell you where they are. <laughs> Yeah, write to me. I'll tell you where they are. <laughs> but I'll charge you ten bucks. <laughs> For one time fee of ten dollars. <laughs> Only a one, one time, time fee of ten dollars. I'll tell you where the free movies are. Ten dollars plus shipping and handling. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a free pillow with that. <laughs> Used. <laughs> Salvation Army stuff. No, man, you ever buy? I, I got What's a Salvation Army. Yeah, so it's a meet and greet over here. Yeah, with the DVD, DVD people, man. It's all meet and greet, all the DVD. It's like a game. You see these people down there? They're the DVD people, man. The CD, DVD. CD, DVD, DVD, CD. <laughs> They're trying to get over, like. I'm trying to get like over like rats. fat rats. But this is the meat place. This is where they meet up. Yeah, this is where they meet and discuss business. Did you sell anything? No, I didn't. Did you? No. It's getting hard to sell those CD DVDs. Yeah, man. It's a cool like thing. You can't do it. And behind me, I think they're doing the same thing. <laughs> I smell Chinese food. <laughs> Don't you smell Chinese food? I smoke five one tang. <laughs> five one tang. You, you like one tang? You like uh, you like egg roll? You like one down? Hong Hong Mo. Anyway, we're at uh, Wendy's. They don't bother you here at all. We're at Wendy's. <laughs> this is how you do it. We're at Wendy's. They gotta hide the camera so people don't know what I'm doing. No, but this is a... Yeah, but they don't bother you. <laughs> no, they don't bother you. Not like McDonald's where they bother you. They... Oh my God, they, 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 they kick you out of McDonald's. Just for talking and... What the hell? What were we doing there? You should see our video. The time that Ronald McDonald got all rough on me. And, and so it's called, uh, we got kicked out of McDonald's. Right, that's what it's called, right? That's, yeah, you should watch that video. It shows you how we had a, a big fight. Me and Leon had a, not fighting each other, but with, with Ronald McDonald. Well, we have one with fighting each other. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's called a big fight. <laughs> It's called, cool. cool. who's better, me or Joe? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a good, that was a good I like Joe, no, I like her. I like Joe, I like you. Uh, Leon. I like Joe, I like Leon. <laughs> that was a good video. You should go backtrack and see our, our old ones. We're hilarious. Now we're going to get even better. We're going to be, we're going to be, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to get even better because my story is going to be phenomenal. I'm going to be totally centered. Not, you know, so I'm you sent it here? Totally center. I can't see you. Are you center? No. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, so we're drinking coffee. Ice coffee. Yeah, he, he, here's one for you. Guess where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Guess why? This coffee's bigger than you. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you another one. Guess who this is, and you win a prize. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bunny from the Graveyard Girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> hey, I love all these guys. Uh, my brother always gives it, uh, them a, a great shout out. Do you hear them sounding uh, us out? They share no love, man. They're all into themselves, you know? Yeah, man. Come on, guys. Shout us out. Give us some love. 
We give you love in return. We always. Who you always shout out? We always shout out Tom May. We love him because he, he's uh, a, a real cool guy. I put his video off with Truck Truck Truck. I love that man. That's a fabulous one. I want to put her. I want to put it up. In I shout out uh, Gilroy and Atwood and um, Pickle Boy. Pickle Boy. And uh, his, sister. his sister Kimberly. I, I shot a lot of people. Bigfoot hunting. Yeah, and, uh, and he, he shot me out. Oh, bro, he shot. Yeah. Uh, no, he didn't shot me out, but Bigfoot hunting shot me out. Good guys, man. I, I watch them too every once in a while. You know? I, uh, you know. In fact, I, I'll put up. I'll put them out. I'll put them in in this uh, oh, you're video show? showing how they shot us out. I'm really sorry again. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Um, also, I like watching the two wool guys. They are just hilariously funny. You guys should check them out. Well, while I'm doing some shout outs, I might as well go ahead and say hey to my, my brother Leon. Love you, brother. Um, Leon has channels uh, The Two Old Guys Show and uh, here on YouTube. I This really made my day. Okay, you well, know. Leon. 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 The, 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 the two old guys, so you can tell we're getting old. Uh, I got a big surprise on Twitter yesterday. Uh, Tom Mabe. <laughs> the Godfather of Pranks. The Godfather of Pranks. Singer, songwriter. Nice. Almost got a comedy, maybe, to me. Uh, befriended me on Twitter. How do you like them beans? Tom! Tom May! That's right, Tom. Tom, thank you, man. Thank you, you made my day. So there you go. And, go, uh, go, go subscribe to this guy. This guy is genuinely a, a good guy. He says kind of things about Tom my May. kids thank you. and family. Uh, subscribe to my Twitter. Uh, I wish you could subscribe here. The uh, Two Old Guys Show. You know, that's a cool idea. Even even the lady that cooks, what's her name? Evelyn. Evelyn Dominguez. She's um she cooks, uh she shouted me out too. She watches us. There you go, so you know, where's the love, man? We love you guys and we put you on our videos and what's up with you guys? Do something. Don't just sit there and do nothing, man. We're from New York, man. And if you ever come to town and you wanna get in touch with us and walk with us, we'll do that with you too. And we'll introduce you to all the mafia. <laughs> yeah, all the guys, the familia. <laughs> Yeah, now so I'm look, th this is the camera I got my brother. He looks just like mine. <laughs> you say, just like me. <laughs> See? Same camera, like bro. Me, right? I got my... Same camera. Oh, dude, we'll, we'll never go bad again, man. I no. See it. I see it happen. How I turn it off? All right, so uh, I just left Joe at the house, and uh, we had a good time. We didn't vlog everything, man, because you can't vlog everything. But we had fun. We talked about things... Just, you know, things in general, things of the past, but we didn't want to actually vlog it because some of it is really personal. <laughs> you know, but, hey, it is what it is. We're on our way home. just wanted to show you, this is Kaufman Studios. This is where they film all... The big movies, you know, Sesame Street is over here too, and all the big movies, major motion pictures that you see nowadays, a lot of them are filmed here. Kaufman Studios. I used to work here, I used to do security here for a long time. But this is it, look. Right there, it says it. Kaufman Studios. They did The Wiz here with Michael Jackson. movies anyway let me go so uh, we're coming up on our local police station a local police station here is this one it's a 114 precinct yep this one here I remember years ago when I used to work at Roosevelt Town as a cop I used to 
effect an arrest. I used to have to bring them here. This is where we used to, you know, fingerprint them, photograph them, hold them, whatever we had to do. But yeah, this is the 114th precinct. You see the cars out there. These are the police cars on the sidewalk. They get the privilege of uh, parking because they have to go to work. You know, I don't get that privilege. Across the street, they got a place. Donuts, coffee, pastry, sandwich, donut shop for the cops. You see that? <laughs> That's funny. Donuts for the cops. Okay, guys. I don't want to hold you up. It's a long ass vlog. You know, we had fun today, Joe and I. And uh, I'm glad he loves his camera. Uh, we're going to do some nice vlogging, some professional vlogging. Vlog in the vlog. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's been a while since I put up a video. It's been a week, I think, right? Yeah, something like that. So uh, I'm making this in two parts. You know, I made it in two parts. And, uh, you know, keep uh, subscribing. You know, we need all the subscriptions we can get. I, I know we don't we don't appeal to a lot of people, but if you if you f like us or we make you smile, subscribe, man. We can use you. Subscribe, you bastard. <laughs> All right, guys. Look, I don't want to hold you up no more. I love you guys. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll talk another day. If you're looking for more, you're so out of luck. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. Ciao for now.